welcome back to Phoenix Ray, Ace Attorney, the first one, blind. Cameron, are you excited for everyone's favorite episode in this entire thing? Yeah. Are you? Are you mentally prepared? No. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this is gonna be a lot, okay? So don't freak out, okay? And make sure to make a lot of gay references during this, okay? <laughs> when have I ever freaked out? Alright. Well, actually, what are you doing playing your gotcha game? You gotta play. <laughs> I'm eating. Oh my god. Just load this shit. Alright, fine. I have to press the buttons. <laughs> yeah, there's hair on here. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yeah. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered. But now the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. He teleported into the water. <laughs> Oh, shit. I said it gets crazy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas! <laughs> hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? I want to dive off of it. <laughs> waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Yeah, uh, if you go to Antarctica, Elf can help you out getting a great waterfall there that's <laughs> freezing. Antarctica? Yeah. Dude, there's some cool shit in Antarctica that are, like, scary and shit. Like, there's, like, a pool of lava that just rests underneath the, like, ice and shit. I should show you Big Tug's, like, video of him talking about Antarctica and all the crazy shit that happens there. Anyway. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gordon Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know any of myself of like waterfalls around here. Like cool ones that are like, at least like, a, like a skyscraper, or like, not a skyscraper, like a good sized building tall. Mm, I don't know any either. Probably in the Maybe mountains. mountains. Yeah. yeah, but we're not, we're not really close to that. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Can't you just take a cold shower or something? Yeah, she, she's oh, here. I guess. Yeah, she's like meditating underneath it, and she's like, it's so fucking freezing right now. <laughs> she gets like hypothermia. <laughs> good idea. I didn't think she would say that. So much for ru rushing spring sh for rushing fuck. <laughs> so much for rushing spring waters. It's not that hard to say. Shut up. Next in the news, a large unidentified unidentified animal was spotted at Gold Lake. It's Maya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just sprinted there. She's like, it appears that the figure seems to be trying to throw water at themselves in order to create a sort of a waterfall. <laughs> Back to you, Ted. <laughs> the town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy at the tip of the hat to Nessie of the Loch Ness Monster. Though it's nameless, Nessie pro proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident that Gordy is the real deal. <sighs> Boring! Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Uh, yeah? The water pressure's kinda low in that shower. We have a shower in here? <laughs> Why do we have a shower at the office? <laughs> you want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with that hose? <laughs> isn't that like Good idea. <laughs> isn't that like super dangerous? Isn't that like could tear your skin? Yeah. It's a lot of water pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Vic. Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid to the f detecting sarcasm. Wait, is Mia like that too? 
We interrupt this pro this programming to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gore Lake, but this time it's murder. Gore Lake again. The body of a man was found at the lake early this morning. A suspect has been apprehended. Sources inside the part the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth is the up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He is guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? The, what? Fi the fire department doesn't want to hose me down! <laughs> Maya? <laughs> 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 the fireman yelled at me when I called him. We got bigger problems than that to worry about. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. Good riddance. <laughs> Finally, we're done with that piece of shit. <laughs> what? Now all of our trials will be easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll get pain back again. <laughs> when, where, whom, why, how? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Oh, uh, uh, uh Hold on. Hey, what do you think we should do? <laughs> what do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right. We need a, more information. Save aimlessness and confusion for later. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. But... I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a shower. No. <laughs> shower thoughts. <laughs> All right, fuck. Well, okay. hang on, hang on. Oh fuck! Man, you motherfucker! I need to, I need to examine my surroundings. <laughs> so you can see that. Well, that was Mia's table. Well, actually, it's my desk now. Oh, a movie I wanted, poster. I want to see Charlie. <laughs> we can see Jen. We can go back. You know, Nick. We've all been here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. Yeah, Phoenix has been in here, Mai has been in here, and now Edgeworth has been in here. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Yeah, that makes us sound like criminals, Maya. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Jump scare. Hey, Edgeworth, come back. Damn, he looks pissed off at us. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Is he ever in a good mood? <laughs> well, he's in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were in here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh, laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? I can only laugh under waterfalls. <laughs> we just forgot hose around for her to do actions. <laughs> now it's a trick. Laugh and you'll get mad. Her burst into cheers. Edgeworth, we don't have much free time to spend. Wait, we don't have so much free time we can spend coming down here to laugh at you. <laughs> yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> we haven't had a single case. I hoped you wouldn't come, so I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either. Believe me. They're gay. <laughs> This guard monitors the visitor room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Or maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in this room. I'm pretty sure that he said the same thing with Will Powers. Yeah, small for the camera. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you can show me your badge! Your attorney's badge? <laughs> Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha, ha, ha. Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. He's, well, wait a minute, he's not hard enough. You're, you're not that hard yet? Can I make you hard? No. <laughs> Me, uh, I'm gay, so that wouldn't work. <laughs> Phoenix on the other hand. <laughs> Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What does that mean, wet behind the ear? Oh no, I'm also Should wet I behind the ear. Should I look up that? Well, what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. Damn, I'm surprised you reached out to them and you're like, hey, can you defend me? They're like, oh, no, no. They're like having like PTSD, like a flashback. 
of like all their other clients being sent to prison. <laughs> Why don't you take my phone? Because my phone's over there, and also, I want to get. Also, you're lying. Uh, but I wanted to see what weapon. <sighs> yeah, enable. Just, just give what me. The I'm trying give to figure my phone. Out. You read your fucking lines. <laughs> I don't believe I it. <laughs> take the <this> shit. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Why? Because you love us? <laughs> Can you talk to us about anything? <laughs> What's it mean by whip on the ear? Lacking experience or immature. Oh. <laughs> it, some say it comes from newborn babies who enter the world surrounded by amniotic fluid. I don't like Others it. Others <laughs> say it, it may have originated from newborn farm animals where the mother has to lick the newborn dry. And one of the last places she dries is the area behind the ears. Oh. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Uh, you see, I was edging on the lake and... <laughs> yeah, and I shot this guy. <laughs> Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Just give me a waterfall and I'll get you out of here! Just give me a I'll, I'll get all the evidence I need! <laughs> help me, you? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Yeah, and I won every single one of them. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. I can... You can help me get some experience, Edgeworth. I'm just... Okay. <laughs> Nick, he's insulting you! Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? <laughs> Someone's got to. I'm too busy flirting with this man. <laughs> the murder took place at Gord Lake, right? Yes, late last night. The lake is a ways from your office and the courthouse. Why were you down there? Oh god, he's edging right now! <laughs> I see no need to tell you. M Mr. Edgeworth! You... You didn't really... Uh... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. There's no fucking... <laughs> I heard about this mythical animal and I really had to fucking see it. <laughs> Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Why won't Edward talk to us? Did you do it? Did you kill that man? <laughs> Edward, it's really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. But why? But, but Nick is trying to help you. I know, I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Uh. Why don't. not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. He just goes back to the cell and cries. <laughs> Nick! Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Oh yeah, let's go investigate somewhere. But Nick! Alright, do you want to go back and talk to the plant? Yeah, please talk to the plant. Alright, hold on. Wait, can you talk to Maya now? Hold on. Mia's favorite plant. His name is Charlie. Maya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. See, right. I just wanted to check out. Nope, nothing new. Yeah. Alright, here you go. Here's your controller bag. It's Gore Lake! Why the fuck are we working on Christmas? Once <laughs> they don't celebrate Christmas. This is where it happened! Yeah. Gore Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. I bet you Detective Jump. J yeah, Jump Shoe. Jump Shoe? <laughs> jump Shoe is gonna jump scare us any minute now. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective <laughs> Gum Shoe over there? <laughs> well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B but, sir. Shut the fuck up, I'm mewing. <laughs> I'm, I'm mewing so hard right now. There aren't any clues, that's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir, he's the one who. Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. He punches a shit. So just, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. 
Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Yeah, I've never seen him actually do his job, so... <laughs> Recruits, piss. No. Ah! Eek! Hey, you're the hairy guy. Hairy butt. Right. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Will he ever learn my name? <laughs> and just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder why what's up. Did he... Did he get a pay reduction again? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. Oh, you don't say. Oh, shit. He's so sad. Yeah. Maybe this will cheer D him up. That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs it. Oh... Yeah, like, like... Yeah, we like, were like, trying to, you dick... What are we doing? I feel like win winter's chill from the bare... The bare leaf trees today. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. You want to see them? No! We don't want to see your feet, my... <laughs> yes, my yes I do want to see them. <laughs> yes, my poetry is <laughs> has that effect on some people. That science is Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking for the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. We actually looked at the side and there's a big ass waterfall, and Maya's like, "Yay! <laughs> I knew it. They had it." Is that really? A little, I guess so. I mean, it is just the entrance. Did I take Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? Well, you don't know, pal. No. <laughs> wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. What? In the what? <laughs> Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. Look at my look at my eyebrow. <laughs> Sir, this is no time to flex your eyebrow wiggling, bro. There, there's a man going to prison. <laughs> there was a boat out on Gore Lake. In that boat, two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. Damn. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Man, we got so much shit to talk to him about. Who is this witness? Earth. Sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. Yeah, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Oh yeah. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Damn. Oh, it's Christmas today! I would forgotten! What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> We can't afford we can't afford Christmas gifts right now, Maya. We <laughs> You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. <laughs> you really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But police are pretty sure he's the killer. Damn. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Yeah. Fence request, yeah. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. What's more? The case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if you have a witness. Hey, pal. Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, 
Right, right, right. All over and over. Like, in, w- in what kind of context are we he was, he was He was jerking off. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm also imagining just like he's in the back and he keeps telling, it, like, gumps you to go right, like the direction. <laughs> and he's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a, and Gumshoe's was like, "Why are you talking about that 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 lawyer, Harry Butts?" <laughs> or like, just fucking go the right. <laughs> Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. No, it's flattering, Phoenix. Don't worry about it. Why wouldn't you want your help? I don't get it. The Detective Gumshoe show? What? Find something? No, no, sir, not yet. But there's a call from the precinct. They want to hold a. They want to hold an investigation briefly. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head head back? That's how it's to report on how to get in touch with you. Well, if I ask how to get in touch with you, then you I can get the autopsy report you, from there. Bro, exactly! You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what do we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, oh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe? Wh- what? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Oh my god, that was the easiest shit. Edgeworth needs to get in trouble more often and we get to do shit like our job for once. You know, Nick. I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think or about not giving you information. Right, now let's get investigated. Let's go! <laughs> Going around at the speed of sound. Uh. Let's say it was just a public bench. I thought that just went down the road a little bit to the bench that was out there. <laughs> Samurai dogs. In a lake. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake. The fuck says wowzers. I guess this was made in 2004. <laughs> Yep. I'm not sure if, if it warrants a wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. Doesn't yeah. have any waterfalls. <laughs> but hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they are great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. Like, samurais are still in. I mean, like, you know... No. Wait. Let me examine the samurai dogs. Yes. Hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks like it's a little half baked. The banter reads samurai dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. The lake. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Shame that doesn't have a waterfall. <laughs> Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? I bet you it's because it's in the shape of a gourd. Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Oh, that works too. What the fuck's a gourd? Is uh, it a vegetable? Yeah, it's a vegetable. Oh. Whoa, no way! It's like a really big-ass vegetable. Damn. It's it's called... There's, they're, they have another name. <laughs> I was sure it's because the lake looked like a gourd when you... From- <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad Maya's... Maya's... Maya's you. Yeah, Maya's got the same wavelength as me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here, this is, this, is, this is what a gourd looks like. Oh, okay. Butternut squash is a type of gourd. Oh, so they're like the ones that we see at the, um... At the... At the State Fair, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like those, those big-ass weird-looking ones, yeah. those are gourds. Oh, gotcha. You know, like an hourglass shape? Yeah, Maya, you got that hourglass no, shape. No, she's 17, oh, you shit. shit. <laughs> My bad. Stop it. <laughs> I, did I say Maya? I meant Mia. It's got that hourglass shit. Yeah, how I keep fucking fucking up the names of these two, <laughs> even though one's alive and the other one's dead. <laughs> Wait, so so I, I got I got a question. So yeah, so you know how like uh, Mia can take over for Maya? Mm-hmm. Is she technically Mia then, or is she still Maya? Well, it's Mia's spirit in Maya. So she takes on the appearance of what Maya looked like before she died. So would she? Would we classify her as Mia's age or Maya's age? Because I gotta know because uh, <laughs> oh because God. because she still might be seventeen, and I was calling that bitch. I hot. think Mia's twenty four when she died. Maybe maybe I think a little older because she was like big heads and everything. 
I gotta know before I continue uh, because uh, I I ain't trying to I get think canceled she was, out here. I thought she, I think she's twenty eight. I think that's what me because because like because like she like full blown like like changes like her entire appearance yeah. and everything. Like like her her boobs grow like two, two to three times the size. <laughs> <laughs> like there ain't no way that's still Maya at that point, right? It's supposed to like whatever spirit takes over Maya, they take over like they, they look exactly like whatever that person looked like before they died they like completely look over and whatnot it's oh, just so like if, so if it was like her dad that took over her she, she just turned into like like or if um, it was detective gumshoe she just the, looked, like, i know the face and body changes the eyes and hair color do not and whatnot fair enough yeah i just i just need to know i'm trying to remember my, based my off of the second and third game because that gets hectic Oh, well, it's shaped like a gourd, actually, but it's just a coincidence! <laughs> hey, I was right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Man, that was the longest time we've ever <laughs> Huh, it's almost... I almost didn't see that post sign. Why is it so fucking tiny? Is it for children? <laughs> Left, boat docks, right, exit. Is right. there anything in the trash can? Wait, no, no, wait, no, no. <laughs> the trash can's empty. At least the place is well-maintained. Whoa, wait, where are those? Huh, so I left some poppers here. You know, for, you know, you pull the string. Yeah, you pull the string. That's Maya's line. Oh, sorry! <laughs> and then he goes, pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them here around, like, New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. That's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Hmm. If there was poppers late at night, there's a chance that someone was here. No, the oh. the gunshot <laughs> sound that the that the witness probably heard might have been a popper instead Maybe. of instead of an actual gunshot. Well, do you want to take them or leave them? Uh, I'm gonna take them. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Huh, where'd they go? In the my pocket! Classic popping noise, pull the string, goes bang! No, not very clue-worthy. I think, I think they are clue-worthy. Uh, line up of plastic benches. I guess the idea is so you can buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat it, you know, on a day like this. But, except maybe Maya, if she had a, a samurai dog. Did you say samurai dog? <laughs> I want one, I want one! <laughs> Do we go to the... Oh, yeah, boat rentals. And the woods. Alright, I'm going to the rental shop first. Okay. You gotta buy a boat? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get my yacht out in the water. <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning. I can't believe you. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess the murder taking place so one of the boats is won't be good for business, either. Boats? I've never ridden in a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one after when the trial's finished? Hey, good idea, you bet! Yeah, we just take the same one and we recreate it <laughs> all over again. Small boat rental shop. Yeah, we're just like, sorry, Maya, I'm here for revenge. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of, because it's Christmas. Trees. There's more forests off that way. I doubt you find any useful clues there. And then, did you look at the boats? There's some boats floating on the dock. Oh, one's missing. Well, one of the boats used the boat, I suppose. Nick! Huh? Sorry, I was yawning. I changed my mind. I don't really want to go off for a boat ride. Dude, just get the one of those cool ones with the lake where you do the swan thing. A uh, paddle boat? Yeah, the paddle boats. <laughs> those are cool. Ooh. That camera. Oh. I like it, you Nick. Wait a minute, does that just say no camping and there's someone <laughs> camped out here? <laughs> Look, someone's camping, definitely not legally. <laughs> they got guts camping in the scene of the murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. <gasps> That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Wait, oh, they got a cool setup. This is, I almost read that as for you. <laughs> this. 
SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. <laughs> just like my car. <laughs> and just like my head. <laughs> ah, now that I look at it, you do have a misshapen head. <laughs> I couldn't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Ooh. Hey, Nick! What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Hey, I don't fucking know. They didn't talk about that in any law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then? I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a good indicator of heat or something? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes some pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Should we look at the sign that says no camping? <laughs> the sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch up your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? <laughs> I don't think they have a sign for that. Oh. Then side to the left. Side to the right. Can you look at the lake? No. You can look at the camera, though. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachments. It must be taking pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <coughs> Man, my... Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hi, I'm Nick. Huh. Nick. Will you stop that? <laughs> Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it's in set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? <gasps> well, it responded. Yay! <laughs> Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Eek! What in Sam hell? Look at what you done! There goes a whole roll of film! Uh, what? Huh? S sorry. Sorry's not gonna pay for my bills! Y'all know how much a roll of that, co of that film costs? Hey, I'll pay you back. What do y'all think of sending our party poppers in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try playing stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know what y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks talk all that Alexander's drill. Why, they must be dumb. Well, well, let me tell you. Just because I might be dumb doesn't mean that we all are. <laughs> Nick, Helen. And how are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, um, we're sort of friends. Just figured out... Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejeebus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to your stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay for her film. <laughs> Watch it! Yes, ma'am. <laughs> On second thought, I'll pay you later. <laughs> I'm really sorry. So, I uh, This is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I don't have- Cause I'll have you know, I'm a fighter and I'll wrestle meaner looking things than you. <laughs> no, that's not at all. <laughs> We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. <laughs> Why does she look like that? <laughs> she looks like she's looking in two different directions. <laughs> Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead and ask me whatever you like. Finally, some cooperation. Hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think uh, of a, of a southern name. I'm trying to think of what her name would be. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Brittany. Okay. You two. Y'all come out of hand now. I won't buy it. Hard. <laughs> come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> the culture capital. Remind you, honey. I I like talking yank out to you, if uh if you please, did you? <laughs> but thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart. And uh. y'all can call me Lada. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of heart like <laughs> I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. 
How do, uh, how do those... Do meteor it, showers make a lot of noises? That's all I was wondering. I don't know. That's interesting. Mighty pleased to meet y'all. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, oh, what if she just, like, made the noise and got, like, the... And then, like, took the picture at that point, but then it's like, what's the difference between doing that and then taking the picture yourself? Yeah. So. Alright, what do you want to talk to her about? Oh, yeah, when the murder took place it Oh, wait. Oh, yeah? Then was that murder anyway? Oh, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Wait, does, does, she, look, does she look over to the other direction? I guess not. No. I don't remember her so Happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That so? Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching here late for, for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember when I've, which when I've seen. When? Yeah. Country. <laughs> Coach Road, <laughs> take my home. <laughs> so what does he do, Lada? Huh? Me? Huh? Y'all really don't know. Y'all really. <sighs> y'all don't. Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? But fuck it, man, country. <laughs> man, I, I can tell that you're from the north so much here. You can't. Shut up. You, you can't talk like my folk. No, no. These words are hard sometimes. Actually, I'm, re I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at the University of Country U. <laughs> um, so I hear. My, I'm right next to you. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. Guess it was about three days ago. What were you photographing? Didn't I tell you already? Meteors. Yeah, meteor showers. Falling stars? How dare you yawn in my country accent. <laughs> That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine Sologen. This was Hitler's here. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Did they even have cameras back in like 1940? I think so, but like they weren't. They weren't they good. Weren't, yeah, they, they had nothing, like nothing like this. Yeah, they, they, I feel like for those you had to like stand in front of it and they had to like, it burned an image, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember back to that Wonder Woman movie where they took a picture like that, where they all had to stand still for like a good minute before the picture came out. I'm pretty sure they had what we, in modern day, call cameras back in like eight, the 1890s. Oh, okay. It, like, it, I mean, they were really, really crappy, but like... Yeah. Uh, but we've had them for a long time. Because like, don't, don't you remember having seen like uh, all those like old ass like black and white photos yeah, that, that, that looked like they were from like the civil war yeah <laughs> um so what's that device you have stuck to the camera that's huh? my dildo <laughs> yeah i just used it last night <laughs> huh device <laughs> camera went off all by itself when i fired my party popper oh that that mic triggers when the shutter whenever it detects certain noises it programmed to pick up loud noises right now a programmable camera? Neat! Oh, modest camera. It's so automatically take a picture when a loud noise detected faces the lake. Yeah, so what I'm what I'm getting at here, I mean, obvious conclusion is that this probably took a picture when the events transpired. Because it was a gunshot. But my my thing that I'm wondering is even though this is a really high tech camera, mm-hmm. I feel like the image it captured isn't going to be descriptive yeah. enough. Like I don't think it's going to be a I good think enough depiction. Too, like it's going to be too far away. I don't think it's going to be too far away. I think it's going to be like we might have we might see like someone's like backside holding like oh. a gun or something like that, and then they and then it's like <laughs> it's it's like you you can like <laughs> we we see the picture of it. And it is clearly like Edward's like red coat and hair, and we're like. That could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that that's my that's my thing. Just like that, I'm thinking it might be, but mm -hmm. obviously, like you said, it literally could just be. It took a picture, and it's literally just Edgeworth, like full clear, like it's a like, zoom in on his face. Yeah, like, like the one like that we 4K saw earlier. Like 4K quality. Yeah, it holds a sign like Edgeworth totally did this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, 
Do we have anything to present? No, we should want to present the camera back to her. Maybe she'll tell us more. Yay! Yeah. Wait, so wait, 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 sorry, 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 give me a second. Oh, uh, what? Whoa, I was actually telling this stuff! No, I'm gonna- I'm, I'm, re I'm redoing this one. Oh, what? Okay. What? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Can I go back? I, no! <laughs> Tell me what your plan was. <laughs> There, there was, it looked like there was like a visual glitch with like the camera. It looked like the camera like disappeared for a second. And so I was like, oh, I want to restart and see if that happens again. Camera, it does that whenever they show a thing and then they make it disappear and everything after they show it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she went inside her SUV. Maybe she'll come back out. Hopefully. I guess we should come back later. Okay, what I think she was going to tell us is that it's triggered by loud noises where like, oh, like a pistol? And she's like, yeah, probably. Let me go see if I got any, uh, like, see if it shot any photos last night. You know and what? she's going to go process it and see if if, it, if we have anything. You know what? Hold on. Are you looking up? <laughs> Phoenix Wright, a lot of dialogue. Oh, God. <laughs> part, part I'm pretty one. sure that's what she said, if I remember correctly. All right. Here, you want me to read it? Hold on. I don't, want, I don't, want, like, you, this, I don't want you to get spoiled, yeah, okay? That's, that's all of the dialogue. You're gonna get into the fucking testimony shit. I'm, I'm sorry for skipping all of that stuff. I just saw a visual glitch and I said, Oh, everything else we've talked to them about, like, you can repeat and talk to them again. How was I supposed to know that it did a visual glitch like that and whatnot? That, like, it caught my eye on the one dialogue you can't freaking repeat. Is it this one? No, that's attorney's badge. I don't want to- Rigged to respond to noise, but it only responds to loud noises like a party popper. Okay, that's criminal affairs. I don't want criminal affairs. I don't know. Someone's camping. Bang. Present. Nope. God damn it. So we went to the woods. Present. Aha! Here it is. That noise. Yep! Actually, this place we're during. Actually, the victim in this case for researching was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Yeah, so... Now, wouldn't a gunshot be similar to a party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't take a picture of the murder, didn't it? Yeah! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll take a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken last night. I'll check them once. Don't... Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But... But what if I got something? I'll be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I will check that film. Come back later, you hear? Okay, so essentially she's saying that there is a chance that her camera picked yeah. up on the on the murder that happened last night. I mean, night, a gunshot is fucking loud, though. Yeah, and she, and she was stationed here and everything. So yeah. she's just saying, oh, I'll go check it. And... So we gotta come back later to see if she found anything. Yeah, so, so... I'm coming back later. It's gonna be a while. You won't know it's ready until it says, like, time pass. You need to make time pass in this game in order to do shit. Maybe go to the entrance? Maybe- can we talk to Gumshoe now? Maybe yeah, we can I go over so. to the precinct. Criminal affairs. Or you- He ain't talking to your ass! <laughs> oh, this is All the first our... time we get to see the precinct. Yeah. Oh, you get introduced to one of the coolest things in this game, and I will have you try to find it. Is it that that thing back there? No, yeah. <laughs> I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey, thanks for coming down, pal. Detective, oh shit. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> we just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. What is it, Gumshoe? Just give it to me straight, Doc. No, no clues here. Hey, isn't that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger! It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I am a sign mascot for the Criminal Affairs Department. If it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. Get ready for that fucking thing to appear throughout the entire franchise now. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the ch chief of the de detectives here. Oh my god, it's Kragen! <laughs> True. He's glued to his computer screen. Why does every chief of detectives have- The bald, uh, ever-seeding hairline? Yeah. <laughs> what? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted? 
don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? No, he's at, he, like, you look at it, he's playing, like, solitaire. <laughs> that was here. Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest bad babes in uniforms calendar, my bad. <laughs> Is that guy playing solitaire? <laughs> that must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling about something to himself. Alright, hands against the wall. All of you. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes on the back of my head. He must be doing imaginary <laughs> training for arrest. Ooh, there are detective desks. There are computers and files in each one. Why? They're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time on their desk. Yeah, if, I've, if I learned anything from SVU, that is so true. Yeah, I guess. Floor, this floor is made out of floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this window is made out of window. All right, what is, what's wrong? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. What about Lila's camera? No? Okay, cool. What, what's the bad news? Give it to me straight, Doc. You know anything about the victim yet? No, no, I still can't ID him. What the f- Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Damn. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. Fuck! True. Here, tell Maya it. She's not you a know, lawyer. I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So... So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow. It's scheduled. Ah, oh, shit. I see. Um, hey. In the end, uh, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else that, pal. <laughs> y yes, sir. <laughs> and do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. We're trying. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. I'm crying because I can't I'm find the so, waterfall. I'm so emotional right now because of the waterfall. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edward so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. And by working, I mean I work him out. <laughs> It's, is that is that confirmed? Gum shoes a top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we trust each other. That's how it works. Man, for a top, he still gets fucked over with his paycheck every t every fucking time. <laughs> a working relationship. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation. See, he trusts us to get the right man. Huh. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust he places in us. Oh, okay. Well, and how come the last three, three times <laughs> you haven't gotten the right guy? Yeah. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Where? Oh, yeah. Can we get the autopsy report, please? I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Oh shit, time of death sometime on the 24th or 25th, cause one shot to the heart. Shot to the heart, and you're too late. You gave no, a bad name. I love how it says sometime. Man. Well, they, well, it's well like, it was I, close to midnight, so they don't know if it was technically on the 24th or the 25th. No, and also, uh, since it was cold and the body fell into the lake, it's probably really hard to tell the exact time of death. Yeah. Yeah, because cause, cause cold it, freezes the 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 decomposition, right? Or decomposition? Yes. Yeah. Also, it was in water too. Wouldn't that also like? It make it really hard to tell when it. it oh yeah, it would wash away any kind of evidence. Yeah. So. uh... Good job, Edgeworth, for throwing him into the Hudson. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nick. Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Who the fuck is that? That face! Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Damn. Who the fuck is this guy? Do Wait, can we look at the court record? Oh. Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. Uh, look at the court record? Can we see profiles now? Oh, I thought it would show that guy. It was like a bunch of question marks, and it just says, Maya might know who this is. 
Does it say that he's under- like- <laughs> Wait, does it say from Miles that he's- No. Oh, okay, I thought he was like, GOT ARRESTED! <laughs> Find some research student, she's camping out to photograph shooting stars. No. Nope. Do you think Miles will talk to us now? Well... Well, actually, oh. we probably should do that in the next one. This, yeah. this is going a bit long. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see us getting to a to-be-continued quite yet. Yeah, me either. Uh, but, yeah, so we started, we started this trial. Uh, my preliminary thoughts. Uh, well, obviously, I don't think... We don't have shit right now. We literally just got the autopsy report, and we just have a lot of this camera. We don't even know who this victim is. The victim yeah. doesn't have an ID. Like, we don't have any motive at all to speak about for Edgeworth or anyone else that yeah. might be involved in this because we have no idea who this guy is. Yeah, we still don't know who the fucking the witness is that they have, right? Yeah. Uh, the only the only person we've re the only things we really have is the fact that he was shot through the heart. And it we was, were too late. It, <laughs> it was it was either on the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth and that there's a chance that Lada has has some kind of photographic evidence yeah. of who who was out there. Yeah, and the photographic evidence had to be set off by, you know, some loud noise, and yeah. a gunshot would would set that off. So, yeah. so my preliminary thoughts: Gumshoe did it. Uh, <laughs> he he's actually this is a facade. He's like I I hate working underneath him. Always cutting my paychecks. It's about time so someone shows you your place and frames him for murder. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, obviously, I don't think Edward did it. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't see him. I, I don't think he's his cock is big enough for that. Uh, do, do I think that he held the gun? I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to we see. We literally saw a picture of him holding it up. But did did they mention that they have that they've found the murder weapon yet? No, I don't think so. So I'm curious to see when they're gonna find the murder weapon and if they're gonna find his prints on it or yeah. not. Um, Maybe it's on the boat. I don't know. They literally give us nothing. We have nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't. I don't have any thoughts really. Uh, like any conclusive thoughts because I don't, we just haven't gotten. We just far don't enough. have shit. <laughs> but it's a pretty interesting episode so far. I didn't think that that Edgeworth was gonna be like the subject. Yeah. Of all of this. Uh, but we'll get to see if we'll be able to pres uh, or what, what, am I, what am I trying to get say? Get our shit together. Represent him. Yeah. Uh, next We're gonna episode. have to, or else I don't know what else this episode is gonna be if we if we. Don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see if we uh, how we were able to convince him. But anyways, till next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye.